YouTube knife community, what's going on, guys? So we're back at you with another one. This is uh this is part six to the Buck Knife Collection. Um, this is a fun one, guys. I love doing this with you. Um, it brings me back as well. If you guys remember, what I do is I pull two knives um, from the collection, and uh, you know, basically what I do is I pull the first two knives in my first video, the first two knives that I've ever you know bought for the collection. And then I go all the way up to the most recent two knives that I purchased. So oldest to the, you know, the newest ones that I got. And you guys can go back and check out my uh, part one, part two, and, and et cetera, uh, to this series to check those out. If you guys remember the last knife that I, uh, that I showed, it was this knife here, the Buck Duke 500. And I believe that was, yeah, that was the 10th knife that I purchased uh, out of this collection. And that's actually my grill knife, that knife right there, the Buck Duke 500 with the um, Micarta handles, drop point blade. That's a pre-86 um, model, meaning that it was made before 1986. Uh, but this, this one isn't about that. We're on knife number 11 and 12. So this is the 11th and 12th knife that I purchased uh, a while back. Uh, again, the 11th and 12th knife that I purchased into this collection. And... Um, you know, I had already had at this time my buck 110s and my buck 112s and my slip joints of the 70s. And I had some older knives at this point because um, when I first started collecting, I purchased older buck knives. But at this time, and when I say this time, when I was on my 11th purchase, I wanted something more modern and something that um, was more of a collector's piece. So I went down to that store that I've talked about many times with you guys. It's called Hunter's Rendezvous. They have buck knives dating all the way back as far as you can remember and a huge selection of them. I was talking to the gentleman, Vern, at the register and I looked over and in one of the cases, I saw this knife here. That's the the, uh, the Buck Wolf series and it's a beautiful piece. I'm going to pull this off for you guys. This was my first real collection piece. Let me close it and show you guys around this knife. Um, still great snap on it. But this was the first real collection piece that I had, um, which I considered a collection piece. You know, you can get the 110s and 112s, but this knife here, I saw it in the, uh, in the store. And again, guys, this is the Wolf Series. This is a 112, um, beautiful knife, beautiful um, blade, mirror polished, beautiful file work. Let's go around this knife real quick. You can see here, I'm gonna bring it close. Look at that stag on this knife. You have your stone there, your nickel silver bolster. Uh, just a fantastic knife. I was so pleased when I bought this. They also have this in the 110 version as well. And I'm I'm really debating on going back and getting the 110 just to uh, add to the, to the Wolf Series collection. I'm not sure if they made other uh, buck knives with the Wolf Series or not. That's something I'll have to look into. But uh, again, guys, fat stag on this. Look at that stag on that handle. A very fat stag on this uh, on this knife. Beautiful stone, and we'll we'll look at the paperwork to find out what stone that is, and the you know everything else. Nickel silver bolsters. Turn this knife around. You can see that stag. Beautiful, beautiful stag on this side as well. Uh, you can see the serial number on the blade there. Just a really nice knife. Let's open this up. Try not to cut myself here. You know, just, I really like this when I seen it and I, I had to have it. Um, let's look at the file work on the back. Beautiful, beautiful file work from Buck. Tang stamp, you see there, the Buck Custom USA with the anvil sign. And I'm sorry for the smudges guys on the blade. Um, these mirror polished knives, <laughs> they're just, um, they're a uh, smudge magnet. Now, if we look here, we're going to see, this is, let me just look, make sure, 64 of 250 made. So, this is knife 64 of 250 made. Um, and again, they have the 110 version of this down the store that I'm, I'm most likely going to go down there and grab that just to add to the collection, like I said. But uh, there's something I want to show you guys. When, when I received this, obviously I received it new in the box, all right? And I want to kind of show you guys what you get. Uh, in the box when you purchase a knife like this. Um, so it comes in this box here. Let me grab it for you. All right, limited edition. This green bow, whatever you want to call it, was uh, was around the box, but I took it off because I'm doing this one-handed right now. 
Um, so that's what you're gonna receive with a knife like this. When we open up that box, let's see what uh, what Buck has inside of it. Obviously the, the foam, and then you have the sheath, and you have some paperwork at the bottom that I'm gonna show you. Uh, let's look at the sheath. So this is your 112. This is brown distressed leather. This is a beautiful, beautiful sheet. The feel of this leather is much different from the black sheets that uh, that you get with Buck. I believe this is the, the distressed leather. Excellent, excellent stitching on this. I mean, it's flawless as far as stitching goes. Uh, and really the whole construction of it, you can see the 112 at the bottom there. Um, and this is not a user, guys. This, this knife here is a collection piece. I'll never use this. Uh, this will go to someone in the family. Uh, but I'm I'm not going to use this knife ever. Uh, but just a beautiful, beautiful sheath that came with this knife. And then when we look at the paperwork in the box here, you can, you know, read that. But you have your certificate of authenticity as a, one of them words there. But, um, you know, and you can pause and read that limited edition. Um, and the stone that I was talking about is a turquoise stone. You can see turquoise handle. Uh, it gives you the serial number at the top there, 64 of 250 made, the model number. Um, and then down the bottom there, you'll see CJ Buck and then the, uh, you know, the whole Buck thing there, made in the USA. So this is something that you can expect uh, to get when you receive a knife like this. Um, and again, that, that sheath really, uh, just a beautiful, beautiful sheath. So that's the... Uh, that knife there, that's knife number 11, guys, that I purchased to this collection, and just a great knife. I love this knife. Uh, great collection piece, and uh, that knife, that's not going anywhere. Twelfth knife that I bought, guys, so I do two per video. The twelfth knife that I bought, a little bit different. Uh, actually, I should say a lot different than that knife there. Um, I was at an antique, I was at a, uh, it was an antique, antique store. Uh, not an antique store, I'm sorry, it was a, uh, what do you call it there? A, um, yeah, I guess antique store. I'm um, having brain fart here. I'm sorry, guys. I was at an antique store, and the guy had in there, in the case, he had a 112. And this was an older 112, guys. And this has a story to it. Um, this was a uh, two dot 112. But the what you're going to see is something very different. And that's as far as the sheath goes. Um, here it is here. Here's the knife, guys. Now, again, the sheath on this is very, very different, and you'll see why. But this is a 112 two dot, guys. You guys can see the uh, Buck 112 and the dot on each side of that model number 112 USA down the bottom. Now, again, guys, with these older 112s and 110s, you're going to see that the the handles are fatter than the uh, than the newer ones. Also, those nickel um, brass bolsters are a lot bigger than the current one, 112s and 110s. Basically, they had a thicker handle uh, than if you were to purchase a 112 or 110 today. You'll notice something different about this knife. There's no nail nick. Uh, back at this time, at, at this specific time, they were not using um, nail nicks in the blade. And this is a year, uh, give me one second here. What year? This is, I'm trying to remember the year on this, guys. Uh, just bear with me for one second. I'm sorry about that, but this is um, 1974 to 1980 model. So a 1974 to 1980 model, Buck 112, still works, functions flawlessly. I mean, still has the snap to it. You'll see another difference is it has one, two, three, four, five um, pins here, whereas the newer models have four. That's a 110. There's a 112 with the four pins. And just real quick, sorry with my finger in the way, I can show you if we can get it in there, the difference in the size of the handles. See the difference of the one on top? Just a bigger handle. What uh what made this knife different was the sheath. And real quick, we're gonna we're gonna look at the sheath on this knife. Um here's the sheath that it came with. And I know this is the original sheath because of the way the knife was molded into it. Um it hasn't been taken out in a long time, the way the knife was in it was exactly the way that it was molded to the knife. But look at this here, guys. All right, we have a some type of military pin on there. I'm not sure what this pin represents. If any of you military guys out there or someone that just knows what that pin means, uh, please let me know down in the comments. Um, 
I've had a few people throw some suggestions out, but really no uh, positive answers on that. But um, definitely, definitely a military pain of some kind. And I'm assuming the person that had this was in the military or, you know, it was passed down or something. But let's look at that sheath, guys. I mean, look how old that is, that leather on there. Um, you can see this was worn 112 down the bottom. But that is an older, older buck sheath right there. That's a very older buck sheath. I got this knife at that store for short money. I mean, I think it was like 25 or 30 bucks. They didn't know what they had. I mean, to a collector like me, I'll pick this up all day. I mean, that that is very short money for a knife like this. But, you know, just um, look how worn it is. You know, somebody somebody wore this on their belt and they... Uh, they would they this has seen some uh, some tough times. But that's the sheath to it, guys. Wanna take a look one more time just at the knife that was in that sheath, the 112 two dot. So just a great, you know, classic knife, two dot. Again, 1974 to 1980. So that's it, guys. That's the two knives for this video. We have that one there, the uh the Buck 112 Wolf series. And uh we have the Buck 112, 1974 to 1980s, two dot. Two completely different, well, two of the same knives, but obviously two completely different styles of that knife. Guys, I appreciate you guys watching. I love doing this. It's a fun time. Um, I'm going to bring two more knives back out of this collection for part seven next time, but this is part six. And uh, again, guys, I love doing this. It's a fun time with you guys. Um, listen, tomorrow we're, uh, we're having a live with a giveaway. It's between myself and Big J's Knives. That's going to be at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 4.30 p.m. Central Time. We have a giveaway going on. Uh, and the giveaway, uh, we have items from Georgia Adventurer, Jersey Knife Guy, and J.O. Ventures. Some great, great stuff in that giveaway. And we have a fun time on that live. So, you know, be there. It's called Happy Hour Live Chat. A lot of you guys already know about it. But for you guys that don't know about it, happy hour live chat between myself and Big J's Knives tomorrow, 5.30 p.m. Eastern, 4.30 p.m. Central. Some great stuff given away, and we're just going to have a great time. Guys, I appreciate you being here. Again, you know, I, I really enjoy doing this, uh, this series that I'm doing. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Please like. It helps with the algorithm of YouTube. Leave your comments down the bottom. I love hearing from you. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys.